Well, Apple may have shaken up the AI arms race after unveiling its AI system, Apple Intelligence, get it, AI, this week and announcing a partnership with OpenAI to integrate its technology into Apple devices. But where does that leave other mega caps like Microsoft? Apple's WWDC 2024 keynote was jam-packed with updates and innovations, unveiling a new era of intelligence and connectivity across their devices. From a revolutionary Apple intelligence platform to major upgrades for iOS, iPadOS, and macOS, the announcements promised to transform how we work, play, and interact with technology. But what exactly did Apple reveal? Let's find out. Apple Intelligence Apple introduced Apple Intelligence, a new AI feature. Apple Intelligence is Apple's initiative to incorporate advanced generative AI capabilities into its entire ecosystem of devices and services. This means integrating sophisticated artificial intelligence features into products like iPhones, iPads, Macs, and other Apple hardware, as well as into software and services such as Siri, iCloud, and various applications. These AI features are free to use, but only on certain devices such as iPhone 15 Pro, iPad, and Mac with M1 or newer chip. Older iPhones and regular iPhone 15 can't use them. Beta versions in US English will be available this fall in iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia. More features and languages coming next year. Siri Upgrade Apple is teaming up with OpenAI to bring ChatGPT powered by GPT-40, OpenAI's latest AI model to Siri and other apps on its devices. With this partnership, Siri will get smarter and can ask ChatGPT for advice or answers to your questions. For example, if you need meal ideas using ingredients from your garden, Siri can ask ChatGPT for suggestions. You can even send photos or ask questions about your documents through Siri to ChatGPT. Apple is also adding ChatGPT to system-wide tools like writing tools, where you can create content with ChatGPT's help. These new features will be available in iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia later this year. They will be free and don't require you to sign up for a ChatGPT account. If you have a premium ChatGPT plan, you can access extra features in Siri and Apple's other apps. Apple to work with AI partners beyond OpenAI. During the post keynote event, Apple's SVP Craig Federighi said they plan to work with other third-party models besides OpenAI. He mentioned Google's Gemini model as the first example. He didn't have any announcements to make then, but we can expect new updates later. Surprisingly, Elon Musk threatened to ban iPhones from all his companies because of the new OpenAI integrations Apple announced. In online posts, Musk said, if Apple adds OpenAI at the core of its operating system, iPhones would be prohibited at his businesses. He suggested visitors would need to leave their Apple devices at the door, where they'd be kept in a Faraday cage. Musk believes OpenAI is deeply integrated into Apple's system and could access personal data. Musk prefers OpenAI's abilities to stay in a dedicated app, not integrated with Siri. However, Apple and OpenAI said users are asked for permission before any data is sent to ChatGPT. Apple assures users that privacy is a priority. Requests to ChatGPT won't be saved by OpenAI, and users' IP addresses will be hidden. AI Image to Generation One of the new features coming in iOS 18, powered by Apple Intelligence, will let iPhone users create AI images of the people they're messaging. This feature, which works with an updated Bitmoji, aims to make conversations more enjoyable. Apple Intelligence can understand who you're chatting with and allows you to quickly create a custom AI image for that person. For example, you could make an AI Bitmoji of a friend celebrating their birthday, complete with cake and balloons, or show a mom in a superhero cape to highlight her child's admiration. Initially, the feature will support three styles, sketch, illustration, and animation. These AI images can also be used in other Apple apps like Notes, Freeform, Keynote, and Pages, making it easy to add personalized visuals across different tasks. Gen AI Powered Emoji Apple also introduced a new feature called Gen Emoji in iOS 18. 
Genmoji allows you to create AI-generated emoji-like images of anyone from your photos library or even custom-made emoji. These personalized Genmojis can be used in your conversations to add a fun and unique touch. With Genmoji, you can react to messages using these custom images as stickers, similar to how you use tapback reactions now. You can also insert Genmojis directly into your messages to make your chats more lively and expressive. This feature adds another layer of personalization, making your messaging experience more enjoyable and engaging by allowing you to use AI-created images that reflect the people you care about or your creativity. Image Playground Another exciting feature in iOS 18 is called Image Playground. This feature allows users to create images using different themes, costumes, accessories, and places. It's available both as a standalone app and an API for developers. You choose the items you want to include in your image. Apple Intelligence then quickly generates a preview of your image. You don't need to come up with the perfect description. Once the preview is ready, you can swipe through different image options and create more images by selecting styles like sketch, animation, or illustration. Apple Intelligence can also suggest ideas based on your conversations. For example, if you're talking about a birthday, it might suggest themes like cakes and balloons. All this processing happens on your device, keeping your data private. Enhanced functionality. Apple intelligence in iOS 18 will enhance functionality across various apps, making everyday tasks easier and more intuitive. For example, you can ask it to pull up files you worked on last week or find photos of a specific person. If you remember someone recommending a podcast, you can ask Apple Intelligence to play it for you. This feature is powerful because it understands the details of different apps and the actions you take within them. It can provide personalized context by combining information from multiple sources. For instance, it can understand your calendar appointments and also give you traffic updates from maps, helping you plan your day better. Introduction of macOS Sequoia. macOS got an upgrade with the latest operating system version called macOS Sequoia. It offers new features and improvements. One great thing is iPhone mirroring. This means you can see and control your iPhone screen from your Mac. Also, your Mac can show iPhone notifications and play iPhone sounds, even when your iPhone is locked. Another neat feature is automatic window tiling. This helps organize your apps better. Plus, there's a special mode for video calls that lets you preview how you look with a different background. The keychain got an update too. It now has a password app that works across different devices, making it easier to manage your passwords. Safari, the web browser, has also made some improvements. It can now find interesting things for you and summarize articles. Videos can be watched in a bigger window with easier controls. For gamers, Apple made the Game Porting Toolkit too. It helps games work better on Mac and has tools for fixing problems. Apple TV Upgrade. If you watch Apple TV+, Plus there's a cool new feature called Insight. It helps you learn actor names and song titles as you watch. It's a bit like Amazon's X-Ray feature, which shows actor bios and behind the scenes stuff. But Insight also works like Shazam, finding the song playing and letting you add it to your Apple Music playlist. To use it, just press a button on your remote and actor names and info pop up. You can even see a background and filmography page for each actor. Plus, there's a link to the soundtrack on Apple Music. Apple's also updating tvOS with better sound over background noise and automatic subtitles in certain situations, such as when the volume is muted or the language in the movie doesn't match the device language, making your TV experience even better. These changes will come later this year. Apple Password Manager app. Currently, using your iCloud account to store and sync passwords across your devices can be tricky to figure out. But now, Apple has some good news. They're introducing the Passwords app. It will come with the next big updates for iOS, macOS, and VisionOS, which are iOS 18, macOS Sequoia, and VisionOS 2. With the Passwords app, you'll find all the features you currently have in the Passwords menu but with a new addition to help you navigate your passwords more easily. There's now a column on the left side of the app that lets you quickly find specific types of passwords, like Wi-Fi passwords or passkeys. 
This makes it simpler to access and manage your passwords across all your Apple devices. Smart Script Feature In the upcoming iPad OS 18, there will be a new feature called Smart Script. This feature will tidy up your handwriting when you're using an Apple Pencil to write in the Notes app. Smart Script uses on-device machine learning to make your handwriting look neater and more organized as you write. So even if your handwriting isn't perfect, the feature will make it smoother and easier to read. When you look at your notes, you'll still see your handwriting, but it will be cleaner and more legible thanks to Smart Script. This makes the whole experience of handwriting notes on your iPad even better. Calculator for iPad. Apple's long-standing calculator app on iOS is now making its way to bigger screens. This feature takes advantage of the larger screen space to introduce new features that couldn't fit on the iPhone. One major addition is Math Notes. This new feature helps with math problems. You can simply draw a formula using the Apple Pencil, and the built-in AI will solve the problem for you. Apple mentioned briefly during today's event that this feature will also be available on macOS Sequoia. Both macOS Sequoia and iPadOS 15 are expected to arrive later this year. Apple Photos App Apple is giving its Photos app a big update in iOS 18. They showed off the new app and its changes, which make it easier to find your favorite photos. The app has a new look with improved navigation and organization. You can now quickly access photos of friends, family, pets, and trips. The app combines everything into one view with the photo grid on top and organized themes below. You'll find collections automatically sorted by topics like time, people, and trips. Plus, there's a new trip section that gathers all your travels. You can even pin your favorite collections for easy access. The iOS 18 App Lock. Now, users can lock an app with the iOS 18 App Lock feature when they give their phone to someone else, like to show them a picture or let them play a game. When you lock an app, if someone tries to tap your phone, they'll need to prove it's you by using Face ID, Touch ID, or your passcode. While the app lock is on, things from inside the app won't show up in other places like search and notifications. Vision OS 2 Upgrade Vision OS 2 got an upgrade with productivity improvements and exciting new experiences. One feature turns regular photos into immersive ones using AI. You can easily navigate by tapping on the home screen or flipping your hand for the control center with notifications and shortcuts. A major update is the ability to turn any image into immersive photos using machine learning, even if they weren't taken with an iPhone 15 Pro or Vision Pro. Additionally, Apple announced the headset, previously available only in the US, will now be sold in more countries. Tap to Cash One of the cool new features is Tap to Cash, which does just what it says. It lets users pay for things by tapping two iPhones together. Apple says this feature transfers money without needing to share any personal info, which adds an extra layer of privacy. iPhones will soon text via satellite. Apple has revealed a new feature called Satellite Messaging. When your phone has no signal, this feature kicks in. It gives you the option to connect with a satellite to send your messages. You'll need to point your phone in the right direction for it to work, and a reminder will pop up on your screen to help you do that. This feature can be really handy in emergencies, like if your car breaks down or you're in an area with no signal. Apple didn't say when this feature will be available or if it will only work on specific phones or plans. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.